Okay, so we're back again with the church, and this time we're going to work on the base. Now, there's two bases. There's a main base, which I have here, and then there is a, a second base, which is this piece, which will hold your lighting. So, for this piece, we're not going to work on it right yet, but you could go ahead and assemble it. Everything folds to the back side. You glue your uh, tabs here on the inside, on all four corners. Fold these little tabs down and add score tape. You can glue that if you want. And then you'll have these uh, six little discs, and you just glue those over top of the holes. They're just reinforcement discs. And this is what's gonna hold our lights. So we'll get to this in a little bit. Now for the main base, it's constructed of two pieces that are attached together. Here's one piece that I've already finished. Uh, it has a, a base and then a cover, and then it has an inside brace and the bottom finishing cover. And you can cover this with cardstock if you want. I just left it just as the um, craft board because it's not going to be seen. And then I've, to connect the two bases together, you can use glue. I've used score tape here, and we'll have two of them connected. Then once these are connected, this base will sit on top, and then the church fits over top of this piece. So it is removable. So let's go ahead and get started. This brace piece, the first thing we're going to do is um, you fold it all inward. It's just going to make a little sleeve. So we can go ahead and connect that. Just like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect or anything because it's not going to be seen. And so you, then you can set this aside. For this piece, you'll want to, again, fold everything upwards, and then you're going to connect these uh, end tabs to construct the sides together. Again, uh, you probably want to use glue. I'm just using score tape because it's quicker for the video purposes. Once it's connected on all four sides, then you want to place this brace on the inside. Just like that. And now we're going to cover this base with this piece. So again, you just fold everything up. You don't want to close your ends up yet. And then you want to glue it on. I'm going to use score tape. And if you're using the score type, you want to put a piece down the center. You also want to run a piece of score type all the way around this edge. That's to hold the side flaps down. at the top and at the bottom. I'm going to run out of score tape. Where did I stop at? Right here. Okay. 
This running it around all the way like this will help strengthen the corners. And then you're also going to want to put some on these flaps. And you'll want to add a piece whoops, in the center of that piece. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take these pieces off, the backing. And with this piece laying flat, I want to center this in that in the center area of the um, cardstock. Okay, and then I want to go and find my top piece, where did I start it at? Right here. I'm gonna pull these pieces off. And I'm gonna work on one at a time. And I'm gonna start with the longest edges. Fold that up onto that edge. And these end pieces will fold inward. Same thing here. I want to do this long edge first. Fold the tabs down inside. And then you're going to fold the short ends up. Then start removing this tape and attaching that piece just one at a time. Then you're going to come back and add score tape around these edges. You're going to remove these pieces of tape. Actually, the tape backing. Well, if I could get a hold of this one, I don't want to come off of there. This piece right here and now we're going to apply our um, backing 
and just center it on there. It'll be a little bit short of the sides, but that's okay. And if you'll take it and rub it like this, it'll help. And the camera's probably jiggling, sorry. It will help secure that down. <clears throat> now I want to take these pieces of tape off. And I want to take these and make sure at the corners that I've got them lined up and then push them together just like that. Okay. So then this piece will be attached on top like this. But we don't want to attach it until we um, add our lights to it. So let's go ahead and start with our lights. Now, I did have in the PDF links to where you can purchase all of these items. And uh, one of the things were these mounting clips. And this is going to give the lights stability so they won't wiggle around. And all you're going to do is take these and poke them inside these holes. And they should be, they shouldn't just fall right in. They should be a little... Um, stiff to get in there because you don't want them to fall through now if you're not doing lights you could go ahead and just uh, attach this onto the base you could also use a flat base instead of using this constructed base okay now so we've got those in. The next thing we want to do is add our lights. These are the three millimeter lights. And what you're going to do is feed your wires from the top to the bottom. And when you get down to this part, you want to kind of squeeze this together a little bit so it will fit down in that hole in the black until it's about like that. Hopefully you can see that. Now you'll notice that some of your wires will be shorter than the others. You can uh, not worry about that if you want, but it's best if you cut them down all to the same size or length. And then you'll use a uh, lighter to kind of burn off this edge of the wiring. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, then um, the best thing would be to just go ahead and connect them normally. So I'm going to go ahead and cut mine down so that they're all the same. Which would be to that length right there. now as you see they're all the same so then what I'm going to do is the ones that where the wiring is coming all the way to the end I'm going to get a little piece of paper towel because I don't want to burn my hands and a lighter and you have to be a little careful with this because you can burn your wire up so just light your wire a little bit blow it out and then you want to take this towel and wipe it off so that all you have left is the wire and that's all there is to it but be careful when you cut a wipe that wire I didn't have a big enough piece of paper towel because it will be hot just work your way through the wires doing that Okay, once you have your lights out and you've um, cut them all down to size, 
you want to separate all of your black and all of your red and I've added two little pieces of tape here just to help me keep them separated and then you want to take these wires and twist them all together as tightly as you can make sure they're good and attached on both sides and in the um, instructions I tell you to get with your light some of this shrink tube you're going to use the larger this comes with two different sizes so you're going to use the larger cut two little pieces just about an inch and a half long you're going to slide one down the black wires and the other down the red wires make sure all of your wires are connected still and inside that tube and then I also um, explained that you needed to get a 3 volt DC regulator 1A switch uh, for the lights and it also has the switch the on off switch connected into it it includes the switch so I think they sell them both with or without so in this box you'll find this this part you need to plug into the wall here's your on off switch and then you have this extra little piece at the end which has a red and black wire so go ahead and plug this in you can detach this and hang on to this piece right here because we're going to use it in just a moment so let me plug mine in Okay, hang on to this for a minute. So now you want to take the red light or red wire from this switch, this extra little switch, and you want to connect it to these pieces. Make sure you're twisting in the same direction that you were before. It's a really tiny wire, so sometimes they're hard to twist them really good together and then you can bend this up carefully like that same thing with the black twist it around really really well and then bend it up slowly because you don't want to break that little tiny wire there we go now if this is connected correctly or well when I plug this in and turn the switch on the lights will light up and there we go now see I've got one that's wiggling here and one right here that's not so I'm not sure which one that is if it's the red or the black that's causing an issue but we'll try here maybe this red You want to keep your red and black from touching if at all possible. Okay, there's something wrong with that light. I've got a faulty light, it looks like. So let me unplug this. And I'm going to untwist this switch. Aha, there it is right there. That one didn't get connected. That's what it is because it's shorter than the rest. So I'm going to try to pull this up some. There we go. Now that I've pulled it up, I can twist it in here. This is why you do this before you put the... Um, this shrink tube on it now let me put this tube back on this one does not want to connect in there with the other so I'm gonna take it and wrap it really really well around there
Now I think all of these are connected. But we'll twist them again just to be sure. Okay, now I'm going to twist this black one around here. Twist this red one. Again. And now we'll try and see how we did. Yeah, now we have all of them lit. So, I'm going to bend this up again, and I'm just going to kind of do this and slide the shrink tube up over all of this. And then, I'm going to have to unplug this, so just a moment. Bear with me. Okay, you're going to either need a heat gun or a blow dryer. Either one will work. I just happen to have a heat gun. And you're going to heat this, and while you heat it, you'll see that tube shrink, and it'll form a tight connection along these wires. So I'm going to get try to keep your other wires out of the way. And you might be able to see it shrinking, I'm not sure. You just want to heat it until it's all shrunken down on there. Be careful not to overheat it and melt it away. Now that should be a good connection there. Same thing on here. I'm going to take that, wrap that around a little bit. Push this tube up on there. And now I'm going to melt this one. Let that sit and dry and hopefully our connections are still good oh I'll have to unplug this other one okay yes Good connections, I'm wiggling, nothing's wrong. So we did a good job. Now, if for some reason when you wiggled, it didn't work or your light started blinking or you hooked it up and a light wasn't blinking, you're gonna have to cut your wires and start over again. And like I said, this has an on off switch on it. So off, on. I'm gonna turn it off, unplug it. We're good to go for our lights. Okay, once you have your base together like this, you want to cut a one inch wide strip of this same cardstock. And I this is 12 inches long. And then, well, we'll start from the center. You want to take this and place it over top. Attach it down, down to the sides, and to the back. The same thing over here. And that's just going to help secure your two pieces together even more. Okay, now I didn't want to remake mine, so I have poked a hole in the back here so that you can get the switch through, and it just needs to be big enough so that that will fit through for you. All my wires are taped down inside, and I've poked the switch through the back hole. So you're going to have to 
wiggle this up inside. You're going to have to poke your switch down probably and bring it back later. So once you get this piece up inside your base, then you're going to take your switch, poke it through the hole here, through both holes, and connect it here. Now, I'm going to, I had score tape on this earlier, but I think I'm going to put some glue on it just to be safe. So I'm going to pull it out of there just a tad. So I know these pieces will fit down in there, and then I'm going to go ahead and glue them. All the way around. Chewy! Sorry! sure this isn't shoved up in here real far. Then I'm going to take my base, turn my church over, and I'm going to apply it onto my base, pushing those tabs down as I do. Now you'll have to let that sit there for a little bit. The tabs will fall down. The glue will take hold. And then there you have it. Your church is done. I'm going to try to lift this up where you can see. Here's the church on its base. You can then decorate your base however you would like. I'll plug this in again. And turn the lights on. And I'm going to turn this light off. And there you can see, there's your church. It's all lit up. There you go. So now just let that dry. And once it's dry, I had moved mine when I turned it. If you have problems where the tabs don't dry onto the base, you can always come in and put a little row of glue around the edges and then um, have it um, and put up like a fence or bushes around the outside however you want to. I've decided that I'm not going to use the base with mine. I'm just going to let it sit like this so I'm going to go back and make another base to go under the bottom to cover up where the lights were. But that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you make your own church. I'd love to see somebody make this and make it smaller as well. Probably half that size. So let me know how you liked it. That's it. Have a great day.